I've been reading a wonderful book, Marissa, okay? The book is entitled, Thank You, Power, written by this uh, woman, Deborah Norville. She was one of the, um, she did the Today Show for a long time. I don't know what she's doing now, but she's uh, quite a writer. She wrote a book on gratitude called The Thank You, Thank You Power. And she is suggesting that the happiest people in the world are people who begin their day in gratitude. Not resentment, not anger, not fear, gratitude. And even if you begin with a few little slippages right in the beginning, if you can anchor your day in this gratitude, she suggests you have a chance at a much better life. There's all kinds of surveys that she quotes in this little book, but one that really interested me was that only 30% of this nation enjoy doing what they do. 30%, give me a break. I mean, get a life. If you don't like what you're doing, get a life. Change, do something you enjoy. Be grateful. Because it brings great promise. It brings great happiness. It brings success. It fulfills your life. Verse and Roque today are grateful people. That's why they're here. Grateful for you as family. Wonderful parents that they love. Great relationships with lots and lots of friends. They're grateful for that. They're grateful for each other. Grateful for the love that has been given to them by God. And if we begin in that gratitude, she says, a great power takes place in our lives and it makes all the difference in the world. I was riding my bike the other morning along the bike path. I'm 68 years of age and I should be in bed at a quarter to five in the morning, but I don't do it. I get up every morning, quarter to five, I'm on my bike. And I was riding along the bike path along the ocean. And I saw a guy coming up from the ocean. Now this is at about five o'clock now and it's dark, still dark out. And when I meet people, and I don't meet a lot of people at a quarter to five in the morning, trust me, but meeting this guy, I just said, good morning. And he stared at me, I could see it in the dark, and he just said, no! Well, I kept moving. But I thought to myself, how many people wake up every morning with a no instead of a yes? What a difference that makes. When we wake up with a yes instead of a no. Because you know what happens. If we begin with no there, our whole day is a no. The whole day's lousy. Because we're looking to fulfill the no that we began with. And so, sister and brother, I ask both of you today, enjoy the day. Don't be so nervous, so excited that it's just a blur. Enjoy this day. Have a glass of wine, yes, whatever it takes. Yes, Relax. Yes, be with the people you love. <laughs> be in this moment right now. You've dreamt for this day. When you were a young lady over in that high school, did you not dream that someday you would be standing, kneeling right here at this altar with your old broken down pastor? Yes, you did. <laughs> and here you are with the love of your life. Yeah. Enjoy it. But be grateful.